planning on staying on? Well, I, um, I will tell you, like I told a man, came in last summer, and he comes here once a year, and he said to me, he said, are you still here? I said, yep. He said, I thought you was quitting last year. I said, I'm quitting next year. He said, you've been telling me that for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> a wonderful man. I'll tell you, Willis has got some incredible stories to tell. And one other little story about uh, what happened at the Biltmore was way back when, in about 1927, Louis B. Mayer mm -hmm. grabbed a group of friends and held a meeting there, and it was the night Oscar was born. The art director from MGM was sitting there doodling as they were talking about how they were going to do this, mm -hmm. and he drew a picture of a man with a sword and on t on piece of uh, standing on a, a film reel. And the librarian from MGM looked at it and said, my goodness, that looks like my uncle Oscar. <laughs> and that's how Oscar was born. Really? My God. Great stuff. Yeah. So you didn't steal any towels or anything like that? No, not you? with Willis around. Okay, <laughs> yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> Four o'clock news today with one of those stories that uh, leaves you feeling good. It involves a real nice man who will soon call it a career after half a century of serving others. Rick DeReyes reports. Willis Eden was expecting a party on his anniversary today, but not as elaborate as this. About 40 Biltmore employees took some of their lunch time to tell him thanks for 50 years of quality work. Willis officially started as bellman on July 26, 1940. He was 31 years old then, with hardly a thought as to what the future might hold. When I started here, I never figured I'd be here 50 years. And um, uh, as I said, I, I met lots of people. They've included at least five presidents, Harry Truman was his favorite, to countless celebrities. He's seen hundreds of co-workers come and go. They say he's made quite an impression on everyone. Willis is one of the nicest, uh, honest, most kind people you'd ever want to meet. He's, he's, a, he's a friend and a friend indeed. He'll do anything for you. That's why co-workers pulled out the stops for Willis. They gave him a large color TV and this creation that took many hours for pastry chefs to complete. But perhaps the best tribute came from the hotel's resident of 50 years. He's dependable, he's conscientious, and he knew my clothes down in the, in the locker better than I did. He'd go down and get my clothes out because I'd go to Salt Lake and then I'd have to have winter clothes and come back here, you know. But he was, he was, uh, he was a good man Friday. As big as his party was, there will be an even bigger one for Willis later this year. That's when he retires. He says looking back, he has no regrets. You never know who you're going to see walk through the lobby. You never know who you're going to uh, room. You don't know who you're going to check in. Don't know who you're going to check out. Some bad ones, some good ones. And that's the excitement of it? Yeah. In downtown Los Angeles, Rick DeRay is Channel 7 Eyewitness News. 50 years. That's a long time. To be sure anywhere. is. Good and the lady him. lives there for 50 years. <laughs> Jeez. And she ought to know what a good job he does, I'll right? Say. Congratulations nice to Willis.